Hello, this is the Belkasoft Evidence Center X, or Belka X for short, tutorial series. In this video, we're going to review the Belka X dashboard. The dashboard is the main product window within Belka X. It is opened when you open or create a case and has various actions with the case and information about it. As you can see, this window is divided into three areas left, middle, and right. At the left, it shows you your case's properties first. You can edit these properties with the help of the pencil icon. Note that the path cannot be changed. However, you can click on it to copy it. Just below the properties is the actions section. This section allows you to do various actions within the case. The first action items listed is the add data source, which you use to add any number of devices and images. The second one down is the search for artifacts. Using this action, you can locate any artifact already extracted by Belka X. It's important to mention that this kind of search does not search inside the entire driver image. It also does not look for files. It only searches for various artifacts like links, chats, documents, emails, and so on, which you can see on the artifacts window. The next action down is the Create Report action. Using this action, you can create a report for, of the entire case. Should you like to generate a report for just a selected portion of the data, please go to the Artifacts section or other windows and create the specific reports from those windows. The Export to Evidence Reader allows you to create a portable case for another user to review. With the help of the Create Key Dictionary action, you'll be able to generate a file with all the languages used in all artifacts in your case. Such a dictionary can be just the tool you need when you're trying to decrypt something encrypted by the user. Note that if you want to maximize your chances for success, it makes sense to use a Created Key Dictionary only for files encrypted by the same user. The next option down is the Prepare Log Files option. This action is extremely helpful should you have any difficulties working with the product. Should such an instance occur, run this action and then send the support team the resulting archive. The archive will help us find the solution for your issue. The last action option on this list is the delete case, and it's pretty obvious. It's where you go when you want to delete a case you're no longer needing. Below the actions section, you'll notice the automatic searches area. It contains searches of various artifacts that as an investigator you might find very interesting, in which Belka X has automatically completed as it analyzed the data sources. Here you will find things like phone and credit card numbers, IP and MAC addresses, and various noteworthy links like video hosting, URLs, and so forth. You can double click on any result to navigate directly to the search results window for this particular search. The middle part of the dashboard is devoted to the data sources. Note the checkbox, Show Nested Data Sources. This feature helps you filter out data sources automatically added by the product which are stored inside data sources you've added explicitly. Every box in the middle part represents a data source. Each data source has a name, a type, time zone, and path. You can click on the path to copy it, and you can also change the data source time zone if it comes from a time zone other than the case's time zone. In this case, the time zone is set for the data source and will be considered the primary time zone and will override the one for all the case settings. I mentioned this before in a previous video, but in case you forgot or just missed it, the time zone setting is very important as it will be used to convert UTC times into local times, so make sure it gets set correctly. Correct time zone settings need to be determined at the onset or the authenticity of any evidentiary timelines within your case can be brought into question. At the right of the data source box, there will be an icon to delete it and also an icon that indicates a status of the data source analysis. If you double click here, you will be navigated to the tasks window where you can review all tasks connected to the data source analysis. 
At the bottom of the data source, there is a list of artifacts extracted from this data source. You will see things like contacts, pictures, documents, emails, chats, calls, and many other types of forensically important data. You can double click on any item here and drill down to the corresponding node in the artifacts window. Finally, at the right, there are two graphs. Most important applications sorted by the amount of artifacts extracted from each application and the most important artifacts. You can change the view of both graphs from a list to a pie chart. You can also collapse one or both and you can collapse the entire panel to make more space for the data source part of the dashboard. As with all artifacts, you can double click on any item under each graph to navigate to the corresponding node in the artifacts window. Belka X makes your investigations quicker, easier, more comprehensive, and more effective. Download your free trial today at belkasoft.com forward slash trial. Thank you for watching this video. We greatly appreciate your time and interest.